it's really dark. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's a little <laughs> bit less dark backlit. Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay, we're going to keep it right there. Okay. Bree and I are podcasting. We're podcasting. What? <laughs> if we look at the table, here's my selfie stick. Can you see the thing on the table? There's a mic, and then there's a computer <laughs> over there. I don't even know if you yeah, you can this see is, that. So let's put it back so over official. here. Yeah, we're it is. It feels we're uh, we're gonna and be casual. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. What's your podcast gonna be about? I it's only time will tell. I need to think about it. Yeah. If I had to decide right now off the top of my head, it would be about happiness. Happiness. Yeah. Whoa. But I need to probably reel that in a little bit and have a more specific focus. So we'll see. Sure. But what yeah. is yours about? Well, this one is specifically for kind of engineer people, people who are logical, rational, and who want to hack their emotional intelligence. You know how, like, engineers are awkward? Not all engineers Not, not, not all engineers, but, like, I come from They're a background engineers. of social awkwardness. And if someone is really, no, but I'm logical and like <laughs> left brained and <laughs> okay. everything like that. So right. I can think how they so think. So you resonate with their struggles. Other people who are. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the business partner I'm working with, he used to be a software engineer. Um, and so like we just connect well with that audience. Mm -hmm. And so we're all about like teaching people step-by-step -step ways to become more confident become more social, more persuasive, more influential. Nice. Um, and what are the benefits? What's of up, you? Eric? How's it going? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Eric. <laughs> hey, Eric. <laughs> what are the benefits of being more social? Um, I, I mean, people, so the main thing that we are finding is that people want jobs. Okay. They want jobs. They want to get hired. They want to get promoted. Yeah. And, like, people, they think they need to be really good at programming. And that's true. But you also need to be able to, like, connect with team members. Mm -hmm. you got to be able to stand up to your boss and take a hard line on some stand, positions. Stand up yeah. to the man. Stand up to the, to the man. <laughs> you got to. you got to be able to. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, this looks really funny. Like, with my, on that screen over there, uh, my hand is just, like, this little... That's the selfie stick. I know, that's the selfie stick. The backlight, I didn't realize the backlight was going to be um, such that's a big thing. <laughs> I got to like keep it at that angle right there. So, Bree, what's your Instagram channel name? My Instagram what's it about? account? Yeah, my Instagram or your website, account. or your website, your Instagram account. Yeah, my Instagram website. account is Brianna Deckard, so it's my name, B-R-I-A-N-A-D-E-C-K-A-R-D. And I post a lot of yoga on there. So I I post what makes me inspired. Yeah. And if it inspires other people, then that makes me happy too. <laughs> you know what we could do too? Like Bri Brianna's got like a Brie. That's her. Brie. That's what I call her. That's I was Brianna when I created the account. And now I'm Brie. So <laughs> <laughs> it's never changed. Like the cheese. The handle Brie Deckard is now taken. So I can't have it. So I'll stick with Brianna. But yeah, what well, yeah. you were going to yeah. say. You were going to say. Uh, I was curious too on how, like your mentality on creating a online community. Yeah. Like what the heck goes into that? Well, um, such a cool thing. It's just like <laughs> creating a a community around you. Like you have to be interactive with those people. So I have right now I have ten thousand followers on Instagram, but I've been very interactive with those people. Um, obviously. Not all of them, but it's yeah, like yeah. when people comment on a photo, I always comment back to them and I make it personal and I know that let them know that I've read their message or if people direct message me, then I write back to them. I thank them if they um, if they comment on something saying that they like it or it's, that it inspired them, then I reach back out. So, yeah, it's very similar to being in the physical world. It's, it's, it's interaction. It's, it's a two-way street. Engage yeah, engagement. So, like, yeah. when you first started – this what was your mindset was it like I'm gonna start an Instagram channel and I'm gonna become uh, popular or was it something like hey I really like yoga this is a weird thing my hey Anna too by the way Anna, Anna. oh hey Britt hey Britt <laughs> <laughs> I've known Britt and Eric since I was like four years old and two oh that's years awesome old. kind of crazy hello. yeah hi <laughs> <laughs> we're making a podcast yeah and we're talking about um how you started your 
Instagram account at Bree Deckard. And um, what your did you so you started it just when I started it? Or? It was my personal account. It was it was like I was in college and it was just like any other. Most people just post what whatever they want on their Instagram account, right? Yeah. So it was just a way to connect with friends and family that I already had. And then my Instagram account has seen so many different like themes of my life. So for a while I was fashion blogging and I would post so much of my fashion blog huh. content on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. But probably since 2014, it's been yoga, yoga. And that's around the time that I started practicing very consistently and um, started my teacher training. I became a yoga teacher and now I do a lot. So my favorite thing, I, I'm very creative. And so one of the things that I like to do with that is do frame lapse yoga videos and yeah, pair them yeah. with music and find a synchronicity to the music that I'm using and the yoga poses that I'm doing or flowing through. So it's a flow. It's a it's a synchronization and a flow. I saw that one with Cindy and you. Oh day. yeah. Like Cindy's just working for like three hours and you're doing yoga. Like she doesn't even look at you one time. How long was that time frame? Is that like that was probably like a five minute, okay, okay, maybe, close, okay. maybe close to ten minute okay. little flow that I did. She didn't but look then it's all one compressed time. into one minute. It, she didn't look at you once. She did it. I know. It was funny because we were working together and I was like lying on the floor doing work because. Yeah. <laughs> Cause work needs to be done during the day yeah. and then I was getting restless and I was like I'm gonna record a yoga video and she just kept working and I was like trying not to bother her but she was completely unfazed when I looked yeah. at the video later I was like she she knew I was back there but she was just like I like that too work. if I'm working I'm so zone. bad at uh multitasking in the zone, yeah. oh, I so see. by the no, way for those hey Jared Bothwell Hello. we have the same name almost um we're doing a podcast right now there's actually like a little thing over there and we got a mic let's see if we can show the mic uh there we go yeah so we're just setting up here in the uh in the shop um in the shop in the shop in the studio it's not the studio. this is like so awkward for me to hold i i gotta get a stand i'm like holding it with my right arm right now uh start? We can start yeah the podcast. so yeah. we're gonna start the podcast and there will be a link later to it uh it's basically we're just going to continue this conversation but um yeah, check it out. Check out Bree's profile. What's it again? Thank you. It's Brianna Deckard. So Instagram at Brianna Deckard, B R I A N A D E C K A R D. And I just recently started. So I'm a yoga teacher in the Bay Area. I teach at um, Google actually, and I am gonna start leading more yoga retreats in Nicaragua yeah. as an adventure. So it's like we won't just stay in one place. We take you to different places, and you uh. get to see like. A variety of different um, tastes of the culture in Nicaragua, and we do yoga in all of those places. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, awesome. Thanks. All right, uh, if you guys have comments, I'll answer them later. But we're gonna sign off now. Peace. Bye. 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 bye.